Chad Althizer and uh, grew up in upstate New York, small town, um, pretty much in between Binghamton and Albany, New York. It's called Worcester. I was in the Marine Corps for just over 20 years total. So I came back from Afghanistan and um, we got a new battalion commander and, and one of the first times I met with him, I said, you know, I think, I think I'm done. I think I'm going to get out. And I, I knew when I got back, like I would just, there was a lot of stress. Um, there was a lot of emotional and psychological stress. I, you know, I guess it was combat stress. I thought it was work stress, whatever you want to call it. But the transition, some, something was vastly different um, within me and within the way I was interacting with particularly my family. And in the following year, it was my last year at TBS, and uh, I, I got advice from a mentor of mine who had been through it, and he gave me a number to a uh, combat casualty care nurse. And I called her and I said, I need to, I need to get help, and I need, to stay, I need to stay committed to it. I had such anxiety about just going to work and opening my email. You know, most of my emotional, mental anxiety issues are related to, to PTSD. Um, anyway, as I progressed through that, one full year of intensive treatment. I went to a 10 week residential treatment program and they had dogs there. Um, and it was at that point, you know, which was probably five months or so prior to me getting out that I thought, okay, this dog thing might be a valuable thing. Um, I talked to my OT specialist and she said, you know, um, yeah, let's, let's look into it. And uh, there was a young Marine that I was in a group therapy session with, and he went through America's Vet Dogs. And uh, I remember seeing how well behaved his dog was. And I remember talking to him, and there were other Marines and soldiers that would come into the clinic and they'd have service dogs, but they were like misbehaved pets. And uh, I thought, man, I, I, I mean, I guess if I'm gonna apply for a service dog, I'm gonna go through America's Vet Dogs. Um, and then he told me about the PTSD research study. And I really, I thought, that was a unique component of it because it, re it really made me feel a little less guilty for being the recipient of something that's so generous and so awesome. Um, so yeah, I, I applied and you know, they got back to me pretty quickly. And then of course it's a pretty long waiting period after that, but um, it was well worth it. You realize the stakes are very high. Um, the, the sincere commitment of the instructors is obvious, you know, from, from the second you walk in. It's, it's, not a, it's not a cakewalk. It's not just show up and throw a service dog vest on the dog and walk out of here with, you know, this, you know, dog that's going to cure you and walk into the movies with you and go everywhere with you kind of thing. It's, uh, it's a process. I mean, I'm in love with this dog, you know. I, uh, I can already tell there's been times through the course where different conversations come up, you know, different people are talking about different things and, you know, I can reach down and just put my hand on him or he can put his head on my lap or, you know, we make eye contact and um, he, he doesn't judge you, you know. Um, I, I have to be cognizant of my emotional state, um, my level of anxiety or aggression or, or tone because he, he won't respond if I'm not in the right state of mind and, and you know, kind of centered. So already I can tell that there, there's going to be a great relationship. Well, I hope going forward that uh, I can create a structure in my life um, each day that's a, it's a little bit more structured and a little bit more predictable. You know, life's a project, so we're going to have we're going to have some more setbacks and we've got we've got some more hurdles to to overcome. You know, I I've learned that my uh, you know the issues that I'm that I'm dealing with aren't aren't just shallow, superficial things. You know these are these are deep things, and and uh, so we we got a long long road to travel. But I think it's going to be a bright future, and um, I'm really happy to have Mikey be a part of it.